always tell people, if you're collecting records and you're like, you don't know where to start, Curtis Mayfield, man, it's, it's hard to strike out on one of his records, man. He just, just a really just fucking awesome musician. And uh, I think uh, one of the first black-owned uh Black on record co- record companies. You can d- double check that for me. Um, yeah, came up with his own shit. He's like fuck that. Keeping my fucking money, man. Curse me if you move on up. All right, so you 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 guys know. You guys know that fucking um. I'm always complaining about bums. It's at a new level of fucking craziness. Was it was the deal on the fucking curse mate? Click, click no on that fucking on the PayPal thing. I'm trying to get. I know. I mean, the the X at the bottom. You can't. It's covering up half the fucking thing. Jesus Christ, dude. Hey, Wikipedia is trying to get you. I, I, I always give money to Wikipedia. I'm not giving it this. Do you time. really? Yeah. Holy shit. I can't believe it. Well, I'm glad you do. I mean, glad yeah. someone does. Yeah. Can you tell me how much? I don't know. Usually like five, ten bucks. Oh. I figure if everybody that uses Wikipedia gives five or ten bucks, then Wikipedia will keep doing well and people can use it. But the problem is, is like, they make it, ri- like, even, like, if you look at my Wikipedia, it's fucking bullshit, and I don't know how to fucking fix it. I can take care of that. All right, do it, because it doesn't have my books on there. It's got, like, weird fucking info on there. I think it's got, like, it's got shit that doesn't need to be on there, that has nothing to do with anything about my career on there. Like, it's fucking weird. So what was the deal with Curtis Mayfield? Is it? Uh, it looks like uh, Curtis Records, if that's how you say it, uh, noted for being one of the first ever record labels owned by an African American recording artist. There you go, Black Own. If you're looking for just uh, in general a record label that was owned by an African American, it was in 1921. Really? Black Swan Records. Black Swan. Who, who came out with them? What do they have? It says... 21. Shit, I probably wouldn't even know any of the fucking artists. This is a jazz. All right, this is for American jazz. There it is. Blam. There it is. Whoop, there it is. If it was possible in 1921, it is possible now. You can go fucking do it. Go get your shit. Go get your motherfucking money, boys. Go get your motherfucking cash. Um. Uh. Oh, yeah, so the bum problem. You know how you know how like like the God bless you shit. It, that's what I use. That's what I used to use on bums. When I be like, when they be like, "Fucking, do you got any money?" I be like, "No, but God bless you, man. Like, God bless you." It's reached. It's that shit don't work no more. No. They're fucking. They're next level crazy. I was having a fight last night with one of them. I, I was, I was, I stopped at the fucking uh, Taqueria. Um, I think it's like Taqueria Hollywood. It's over on. Uh, it's crazy. It used to be right next to the Tranny Donut place. There was, there was, there was a spot. People don't realize where we're at right now. When I, when I, before I got the job here, fifteen years ago, I worked three blocks away. And it was grimy as fuck. It was before fucking, it was before the Target and all this shit. And, like, you couldn't even check out chicks or else you'd feel gay because, like, half the time it was fucking, like, damn, look at the ass on that swinging. And then turn around and, like, fuck, it look, looks like Edward James almost. And you're like, oh, fuck, dude, I'm gay. Uh, shit. You know, you just start questioning yourself and all that shit. So, like, three blocks down, like, about eight blocks down, if you go uh, east, it's Highland. That's one of the main strips. And at Highland in Santa Monica was where all the tranny hookers would, would hang out. And that we called it the tranny donut stop. Yeah. Yeah, tranny donuts. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Now, it's, what's, what's my man name from uh, the the Mexican character actor? What, what, the, Danny Trejo. Yeah, Danny Trejo. Shout out to Danny Trejo. He's come on the show a few times. A good dude. Um, 
So Danny Trejo now owns the donut shop over there, and there's, I, you don't you don't see that type of action, for for um, for a lot of cats that don't understand this shit. Like back in the day, um, pimps pimps would post up at fucking, they would post up at like twenty four hour donut spots, twenty four hour diners. There, there's a there's a term called chili bowl pimp because. They would order one chili bowl and fucking sit up, sit up in the fucking diner and watch their horse. And like, so the pimps would post up at that donut shop and run fucking, run the fucking transgender hookers, whatever, or transgender sex workers, whatever the fuck you want to call them now. Um, so I'm over there getting, they still got that old school taqueria like right over there. And I stop in there and get, get lunch probably twice a week or some shit. So like I'm on the phone and I'm getting I'm getting fucking getting a fucking uh quesadilla. <laughs> fucking Napoleon Dynamite, bro. So I'm getting a fucking quesadilla and uh a soda one. Delicious by the way. Uh and I'm on the phone with my homeboy in Detroit and like, you know, we're, we're talking about like some real shit, like real shit. This fucking black lady walks up on me. This lady's so fucking gone that there's a fucking, there's like a fucking homeless tranny walking down the street that is like hard times. Like, like being transgender at 30 or some shit, or you see like the Thai, the the Thai fucking, uh, the Thai tranny goddamn, uh, the Thai trans the Thai trans fucking shit and you're like damn that shit looks like a fucking chick time will tell bro time will (laughs) fucking tell man you you see one of them cats when they're about 52 or some shit like that 52 hard living like meth problem so there's a there's a there's a there's a fucking methed out fucking homeless tranny walking down the street and then there's the black lady walking the other lady way. And they're both fucking, they're both bums. She asked the fucking bum for fucking money. She asked the one bum for money. And I'm like, damn, this bitch is out her fucking mind. She's asking bums for money? Like, clearly this, this, this dude is, she is doing as bad as you are. Like, so I'm like watching that shit happen. Like, hell no. Nah. And then she turns to me. She was like, give me some money. And I'm like, I was like, I, 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 don't, I don't have any change. I don't got no money. I don't got no change. And then she was like, well, buy me something to eat. And I'm like, nah, I'm on the phone. I'm on, I was like, you see, I'm on the phone. She's like, fuck you and fuck your motherfucking phone. And I'm like, <laughs> she, and she's tiny. And then uh, I'm like, I'm like, Nah, man, you good, though, but God bless you. Like, I tried to hit the God bless you. She was like, fuck you. You don't believe in God? You don't believe in her? She's, she was, like, woke enough to call God a her and shit. She was like, you don't believe in her? Fuck you. Fuck you. Fucking die, motherfucker. <laughs> she starts telling me to die and that I don't believe in God. And, like, she's fucking, like, four foot something. And I'm just, I, I'm like, lady, I'm on the motherfucking phone, bro. Like, you come, you coming up to me asking me for shit? You're being fucking rude. And she's like, fuck you, die. You don't believe in motherfucking God. And I'm like, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. And it's not working. Like, the kryptonite is not, it's, it's, it's done. They're fucking gone. Like, I take it back. I, back in the day, back in the day with just the drunk bums, drunk bums, that shit used to work. The methed out bums, done. She's fucking cooked, bro. Like, th- there was there was no coming back from that. And then she start call she starts calling me ends. Just N, N, N. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, and then she said I raped her. She was like, you raped me, and now you won't give me money. And fuck you and fuck God. And I'm just like on the phone, my homeboy is listening to this, and I'm like, yo, bro, I'm leaving Cali, dog. Like, this is he was like, I thought the bums are bad there in San Francisco like 20 years ago. I'm like, multiply that shit times fucking 50. Multiply that shit times fucking 50. Because I'm getting fucking cussed out by some fucking 
by some tiny black midget um, <laughs> that said I raped her. And I'm like, I'm just trying to get a quesadilla, man. I'm just, I'm on the phone trying to get a quesadilla. And she cussed me out for, I don't know, probably 30 seconds, but it felt like two, two minutes. When you're getting cussed out, it feels way longer than it actually is. You're just like, Jesus fucking Christ. And then a, a brother's walking up as she's doing this, and he just looks at me, and he just shakes his head. <laughs> he just shakes his fucking head. like, And, uh, yeah, he just shakes his head like, yo. He was like, I feel for you, but I want no parts of that shit. He just shook his head, fucking walked diagonal away from her so that she didn't see his ass. It's crazy out here, y'all. Like, it is fucking bananas. Like, you, you'd you have to, if, if you just took a walk in certain areas to fully understand how crazy L.A. is, it's getting crazier and crazier and crazier. Like, it's fucking nuts. Even where I live, it's getting bad, too. I mean. Really? When I worked, and I live 30 miles east, but there was a time where, when I was working at McDonald's still, and there used to be this bum that would come at nighttime. And when you'd work the late shift, obviously there's no one there. Right. And he would go in and he would grab our hose and he would bring his like 99 cent shampoo. And he'd wash his body with our with our uh, our hose. He would use our hose. He'd take a whole shower. And to dry off, he'd run around the drive-thru. He'd run around the drive-thru three or four times. No shit. Well, at least he's taking the shower, dog. On a weekly basis. I don't know if he was on drugs those nights, but... Maybe he was on drugs and felt like, I got to get clean. I got to get clean. But he'd be running. And he's a big dude. He wasn't a small guy. He'd be butt-ass naked running around. But naked in the middle of the night. Yeah, see, man, it's getting fucking It's. I was going to a fist fight last night. Some guy wanted a light, and uh, I didn't want to give him my lighter. So then uh, he started screaming at me. And then I gave him the, the boxing stance. Just like, buddy, <laughs> you're fucking with the wrong guy. And then he kept screaming, and he walked away. Knock you out. That, aren't you glad you've trained? You're like, yeah. all right, bro, I'll fucking, I, like, I know how to throw a couple <laughs> punches. Like, I'll fucking. <laughs> One, two. <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, man, I'm I'm afraid, like, th- th- these motherfuckers running around with, like, AIDS pencils just stabbing motherfuckers with, like, fucking, uh, fucking weird, whatever the fucking weird disease they, it's not even about, like, getting, getting fucked up by them. I just don't want to, like, it's like, if you're fighting a bum, you're like fighting feces and slobber and piss and beer and fucking nacho cheese from 7-Eleven. Like you got like <laughs> fucking the Fritos chili pie shit. Like you're fighting the whole fucking, you're fighting the whole thing, man. Yeah, it's like handing a zombie my lighter and I'm going to take that back and then put it near my mouth. I don't mean to sound insensitive. No, no, I, <laughs> I thought that, that was my story when I got them off of me oh. was... They had that zombie shit, and they had me surrounded, and I gave them the cigarette, and I was like, now give it back, and then I hit it, and they are like, whoa, this dude is fucking, yeah. he's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> um, 8 at 8, 7, 4, 2, 3, 3, 4, 5. It's getting crazy, man. I think in, like, a lot of people aren't fucking addressing this shit. Like, it, I think it's this meth, bro. Like, this meth is flicking people's switches. What happens is you do it so much that it turns you crazy like it turns you into like it'll it'll trigger some shit if you got some uh, if you got a chance of getting schizophrenia or some shit like that it fucking flicks your switch so you got motherfuckers that have been doing meth for fucking a few years and they're just they're just gone and i don't know what to do about it my idea was having the bum catcher and then having like a place to put them and they can fucking (laughs) Because no one's going to be like, hey, man, like, when you're crazy, no one's like, you know what, man, I'm fucking crazy. I need to go talk to somebody. Like, that's the first that's the first sign where you know you're not all the way crazy when you're self-aware enough to know that you're crazy. <laughs> hey, in Highland Park, what up, man? What up, though? You got it. Man, let me tell you something. 8 and 75 getting crazy than a motherfucker. Yo, I was down no. over there, bro. Yeah, speak on it. Man, that motherfucker came up to me one day to my car. He's like, excuse me. Excuse me, Mr. Nigga, do you have a quarter? <laughs> yeah. No, bitch. <laughs> Stupid bitch. 
Bro, you just yeah, made me. You just made me do a spit take, bro. I literally <laughs> spit all my shit out of the fucking mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it was fucked up a, a quarter. <laughs> Man, you can't even read them motherfucking signs that they fucking wrote on the cardboard. I'm at Afghanistan veteran. Bam, we're gonna crash into somebody in the motherfucking front of you trying to read this bullshit. And yeah, by the way, that was me that asked you for a lighter last night, John. <laughs> oh, I see. That was you. I couldn't recognize him. Yo, you know what I used to try to do with bums too? Like, I would be like. I'd be like, yo, bro, that I like just to see just 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 to, just to see how bad they were doing. I'm like, I'll give you twenty dollars for your sign right now. That motherfucker won't take it. None of them. Not one of them will go take it. I'm like, that's why you a bum. Like, that's why you a bum. Right. Take twenty dollars. Go fucking go to the back of a liquor store, grab another piece of cardboard, and write out a mother, write out a new sign, dog. Like you just made twenty dollars in fucking in five minutes. They're like, nah, I rather, no, nah, no, nah, I'm just gonna bum that shit up. I seen motherfuckers roll up on eight seventy five with construction trucks. Say, hey man, I will give you a job right now. They shake their head, no. Yeah, cats, yeah. It's like I got compassion to a certain extent, extent, and then after a while. Then you're a doormat. So it's just like, uh. Exactly, I'm, exactly. And by the way, yeah. fuck you, John, but I got to get out of here, man. I love you, Jude. Yeah. All right, love you too, man. Yo, uh, Riri, go ahead. Oh, so hold on one second. God, oh, Riri, I lost you. What happened? We're not all like, what? what? How did, I didn't. She She said she was trans and she's not all like that. I don't know what she was talking about. All like what? But um, hey, Ruby, I'm not trying to offend you. Like real talk, I was just telling the story, man. Or girl, <laughs> I just took call everybody, man. That's the tough thing. Like when you call everybody, man and dude, like fucking, like Jesus Christ. No one's happy anymore. <laughs> <laughs> They be like, ah, don't call me that. But like, yo, I I literally call women whose dicks I put in my, uh, I I take my dick and I put it in their mouth and I call them dude. Uh-oh. After we get done fucking, I'm like, hey dude, you wanna go do this shit? <laughs> Mike in Baltimore. Hey, what's up, man? Man, you ever been to Baltimore, man? You talking about the bums over on that side? It's crazy in Baltimore City, man. What's going There's on? Bums out in Baltimore. Man, it's crazy as hell, but I'm going to tell you for real, the bums ain't that bad. They straight up put up a sign, hold up a sign talking about, fuck it, why lie? I just want a beer. You know what I mean? They tell you straight up what they want, but it's the people, man. It's the thugs in the street. They're the ones that's off the hook. Yeah. Shit, they'll come up to you, ask you for something, and next thing you know, you might you might go to help them out. might ask you for a cigarette, a Newport or something. You go in right. your pocket, you might have to give them a cigarette, and they even took your damn phone off you or some shit, man. Oh, you yeah. think it's crazy on that side? Yeah, super crazy over here, man. Yeah, shit is wild. Yeah, shit is, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like when fucking regular people, even like, it sucks, man. Someone will walk up on you and ask directions, and they're like part of you is like, you got your fist balled up because balled like, up, ready to go. Yeah, it's That's like, right. like, cause they might sneak you while you're trying to fucking point. Oh yeah, you go, ah shit, right. fuck it. Yeah, the, go down over the there, down the block. Right, for an iPhone. What the fuck they gonna do with my iPhone? You know what I'm saying? You can't you can't do shit with a stolen phone no more, but yet they the dummies are still out here doing it, man. I know. Still well, out here doing it. And like let's let's be real, like if they knew how to jailbreak iPhones, bro, like <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> you ain't on the corner stealing them. <laughs> right. Yeah, bro, like come on, let's be let's be all the way real. They they have a different fucking thing of tech technology. Yeah. And between that and then we got we got a bunch of kids they call them the squeegee kids. Man, the squeegee kids, that's just some crazy shit, man. Oh, they're running up on they're running up at uh traffic lights? Yeah, running up at traffic lights, hitting your you know, cleaning your windshields. But shit, this one spot, I mean, it's a couple good ones down there, but check this out. They had one or two kids, man, wild out, bust the window because they didn't want to give them no money, and now they're making a big deal. They making a big deal. Like like it's like all of them is down there doing it's like a small handful of people, man. But But that's the, the thing. The crazy thing is that's the thing they gotta Go ahead, police. Them, they gotta police themselves too, though. It's like if they see if they if if I'm a squeegee kid and I see a, another squeegee kid busting out windows, right. it's like, yo, bro, we need to handle this motherfucker because he's right. fucking Cause up our money. Fucking it up for us. That's yeah. right. That's right. 
it's crazy, man. But like, but like I said, I just heard you talking about the yeah. bums, man. Like I said, the bums they off the hook. But man, the everyday people in Baltimore City is more off the hook than the bums out here, man. Yeah. Hey, man, I ain't gonna hold you up. I love your show, man. Thanks, bro. Definitely, you know. Appreciate you. Glad I got to holler at you, yeah. man. Definitely, man. Have a good one. The worst part too is with the bums uh, that do the squeegees. The window will be dirtier than when they started with that shit. Like it's like it's like it's like, bro. It, you what? It's almost like they drug it across like a gas station fucking the concrete of a gas station and then just rub oil and shit all on your fucking window and then squirt it with some vinegar or some shit and be like, yo, let me get a dollar. And then you're like, nah. And then they fucking bend your fucking, they get mad and bend your goddamn windshield wiper. And you're like, are you fucking kidding me, dude? (laughs) Shit is crazy, man. Shit is crazy. Matt and Austin. Damn, it's just crazy out here. Go ahead, Matt. Yo, what's going on, Drew? Hey, long time listener, man. I've listened to you since uh, like 2006 or something. But anyways, man, my, I was back in college back then, and my college buddy, he uh, got a good job making $100,000 a year, and he eventually thought he was smoking weed, smoked some meth out of a bong. A year later, he was injecting that shit, living in a trailer with only one side of the trailer, no electricity, no water. He was washing himself with a hose and taking a shit in a bucket. And he told us all he was talking to Betsy the Bull living out there. Happy as a motherfucker. Couldn't believe it. Yeah, man, that meth is a, that meth is that meth is a motherfucker, man. I fucked a couple of chicks on meth, and that was fun. But like, uh, <laughs> long term, not worth it. <laughs> and they lose their teeth. I was telling, yeah, I was telling, I was telling that story about like fucking the broad, and then she was like, "Hey, let's go to my friend's house." They start smoking meth out of fucking light bulbs. I'm like, "Whoa, dude, I gotta get the." Like, all right, man, this is where we part. And the funny thing was she was like a rich chick. She was like some rich white girl. Just smoking meth out of light bulbs. All right. Uh, okay, uh, Jonathan, he's out here in L.A. Go ahead. John. Uh, yeah, are we speaking about the trends out here in L.A.? Yeah, go ahead. I don't hear me on the radio. All right, this is what I wanted to say. I, this is what I wanted to say about the trans dude. Go ahead, they go. are so fucking awesome, dude. Their asses taste better than fucking pussy nowadays. <laughs> I don't know why y'all stain these fucking trans dude. Because I had got hair from one the other day. And when I say that bitch made me ski the hard than my fucking baby mom, dude, I'm just being real. Like, they slipping on those fucking trans dudes. I'm just being real. They're sleeping on those fucking trans, dude. They better stop their bullshit. I'm not gay. One trick the fuck out of me. Listen, I only had to pay that bitch $100, dude. I got full service. Somewhere off of fucking Long Beach. She said her fucking name was Lala. But I said that bitch took me down through there. That fucking bitch took my head game down through there, dude. You should just... Man, I'm telling you, they fucking slipping on this bitch here, dude. She just got in town, too. Ah, that's the best. Wait, oh, he's, I would have fucking, I wanted to give him free shit for that fucking phone call. All right, no, there's, the, 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 ain't, ain't no call going to get better than that. We got Alex Jett. He is a fucking male porn star, and he specializes in MILF fucking. And I want to hear the upsides of fucking MILFs. All right, let's go. You're listening to the All Out Show with you. Shay 45, we are back. We don't have many male porn stars in because... We like looking at asses and titties, <laughs> but today we have a male porn star, Alex Jet. Welcome to the show. Hey, happy to be here. You are uh, you you are you specialize uh-huh. in milf fucking. Uh, yeah, sort of, kind of. I mean, I do a lot of POV with teens, also. But um, I, if I had to say my specialization, it's it's like that um, step mother, step you know, sibling kind of thing. POV with teens. Uh, yeah, like POV, like yeah, yeah, when you shoot down. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I don't get a whole lot of credit for that though, because you know my face. No one knows. Yeah, <laughs> they don't know your dick. <laughs> I mean, some people do. I mean, they're like, "That's Alex, <laughs> right? That's, that's I know that dick anywhere. <laughs> that's Alex's dick." <laughs> what, what, what were you doing before you got into porn? Um, I mean, I was a private investigator actually. For who? Uh, it was uh, California State Insurance Fund. Uh, boo! I know, right? Exactly. Nobody so, likes you. We like right? insurance. <laughs> We're trying to do insurance fraud over here. Oh shit! Well, good thing I'm not in it anymore. What do you lo- give me? Some things that that give. All right, this is. This we're gonna we're gonna sidebar this shit. What are some things that people can do 
to help not get caught oh yeah for well, insurance fraud it's it's tough like uh the thing is um the the insurance adjusters will send out pis like every maybe like two years to check in on you okay so you you don't know when it's going to happen but all for right. three days they're going to watch you so like you got to be careful all the time if you if you're like you got a fucked up leg and you're having right, a right. couple good days you're you're screwed you know what i mean when the pi comes out so, so you could be you can actually be telling the truth oh yeah yep it's, but like you know what, I'm just gonna try to walk without the boot. Yep. And they yep. fucking get and you. And they get you for that. Yeah. So you just got to keep the boot on at yep. all times. Exactly. If yeah, if you're getting payouts, keep it going. No bungee jumping. No, none of that shit. Hell no. No chopping wood, which was something that actually happened with a total back injury. <laughs> Some dude was out there chopping wood. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. I is know. There, right? Is there? What about like paper trail shit? Like, can you go like, they're like, oh, he went to the Bahamas or? Yeah, uh, not can, so much. So it's it's. You you can go places. Oh, absolutely. You just if you're, especially if you're going to like your doctor's office or something like that. If you right, got right. an appointment, yeah. that's the best time to be intercepted. Especially if you've been like moving around a lot. So that's, like that's the best time to be what? Uh, for for the PIs to like to get you. That's because oh. that, that, they know where you're gonna be. They work with the adjusters. The adjusters work with the doctors. So, so they, they know you're gonna be at a certain place at a certain time. So if you've got that's an appointment, when they're watching. be extra careful then. Yeah. You're welcome, you guys. Right, exactly. Right. Now let's talk about fucking old ladies. <laughs> what do you? What, well, all right. Here's here's here's. I got my own fucking. I got my own opinion on this one. Uh huh. Who's got better pussy, the older women or the younger? You're doing the teens and you're doing the right. two extremes. Oh so yeah, you're doing for sure. POV with teens. Yeah. And you're doing older women. Oh yeah, yeah. I I mean, honestly, the milfs know how to fuck a lot better. <laughs> They do, right? They, they know do. The, they yeah. know their body. They're comfortable with oh, their yeah. body. Exactly. Especially they've been in the industry for like ten plus years. They're right. Like they have no inhibitions. They know exactly what they like. They can lead a, a whole scene. I mean, it's yeah, super easy, super super fun. I know. I always look at like these fucking hot chicks, like these hot twenty year olds or something, and it's like someone that's got a Maserati and doesn't know how to drive it. Right. You know what I mean? Like, it's yeah. like, yo, man, you got this banging-ass body, and you're sure. not, you, you fucking hate yourself. You think you're too fat. You, you, you're you you're you're in your head your whole fucking time. Yeah, you can't exactly. Even like, you can't even let go and just have a oh, good-ass sure. time. Yep, yep. Or you don't even really know what you like. So, I mean, you're on set, and you're like, oh, this is the first time I've, you know, uh, licked another girl's ass. You know, some, some girls will say, and it's like, really? You've like you're you're on a porn set and you've never like licked another girl's asshole. Like, if I was a girl and I was on a porn set, I would lick ass off set. Like right, it's, yeah, just it's, it's like prepared. football. You yeah, know what I mean? Right. Like practice. Yep. You know what I mean? Like you ain't Allen Iverson. You got to go do practice. <laughs> like you gotta you gotta fucking practice that shit. Like exactly. I'm doing every like I I don't want to try nothing first on camera. I know that's what I'm saying. So like when you get like a 19, 20 year old girl who's who's saying that on set, it's like, really? You're like, come on, man. Yeah, exactly. Like uh, you know, some girls will say, oh, I've never deep throated a cock. It's like you know this is a deep throat scene, right? Like, you, are you comfortable doing this? Is that fun though? Sometimes I like tears. Uh, I mean, you always get tears with deep throating. I love that shit. <laughs> I fucking love that shit. And then girls are like, oh, my mouth is dry. Well, like, it won't be if you just deep no, throat. It, it's, like, it's, it's, never dry, uh, it's never dry during deep throat. Yeah. It doesn't matter. <laughs> here's, a, here's a little fucking, here's a little hack for you guys yep. out there. You fucking jam that dick. In, well, you don't have to jam it. Well, but I mean, like, you work it depends it, on how big it is. Yeah, you work it back in there, and then fucking yep. the, 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 your throat is like, oh, we need to fucking lubricate. And then yep. suddenly. All kinds of snot and mucus and yeah, shit like that. Slime. Yeah, Exactly. Yeah, no, fuck. It's good, it's good lube. Yeah. It's good lube. I'm not mad yeah, at it either. Right? I want my dick to look like a swamp <laughs> by the time it's done. <laughs> Straight up. I want to look I want to, to, to look like the bayou. Exactly. Like alligators and shit down there. <laughs> so. You, you, you uh, what got you? You're, you're a young, you look young for. Uh, yeah. How well, old are you? I'm uh, almost 30. I'm 29. God damn, dude. I know, right? You're still getting carded, I bet. Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. I, buying alcohol, like, I'll go to the store and, like, I'll be getting side eyes from the employees. You look like, about you look it. about 18 for yeah, for cats that aren't, that oh, don't yeah, know. For sure. Um. So what, what got you into fucking older women? Um. Well, yeah, what got me into porn just in general was um, 
I just I'm kind of I've always liked attention. Um, so I posted naked pictures like online for fun for years and years and never really got like that significant of a following. Yeah. And then uh, one day it just kind of something flipped. And I just started getting thousands and thousands of followers. And uh, that got me kind of discovered by my first agent. Who was following you? Um, I, I guess uh, guys mostly because it was solo stuff. Right, but like, right. But, um, you know. Did when... you say no homo before you did that <laughs> shit? Hell no. Because you know what? It's green. Money is money, is money right? Doesn't so they matter. were throwing you your fucking, they were throwing you. My homie, my, my gay homie used to do jack off scenes. Oh, yeah. There you go. Solo. Yeah, exactly. But he would just fake his nuts. So, like, oh. this was this was before, like, the internet was good. So it would be, mm-hmm. like, choppy. And he would, like, jerk off. And then, like, he would, like, take lotion and just throw it on. That's throw, hilarious. Throw it at cats. Be like, ah, it came. And, <laughs> yeah, right? Like, fooled you. Cause, yeah. Because it's, you know, as a man, it's hard. Like, you bust by, like, your third or fourth nut. You're just. <sighs> oh, yeah. Well, I mean, I, I've done three scenes in a day. So, I mean, I, I guess. Are you are you doing it? Are you using are you Barry Bonds in that shit? Are you using Viagra? Or are you going straight up natural? Well, I mean, uh, personally, it de- it depends. It, I mean, yeah. it, it's uh, you know, the thing is, uh, and a lot of people think with Viagra, all you got to do is pop it and you're good to go. You actually have to be turned on for Viagra to work. Same with Cialis or or Levitra. I've if, been there, bro. Trust, right, that's yeah. what I'm saying. So like, it, the a rookie mistake that a lot of new performers will will make is they'll be nervous as fuck. They'll uh, pop some Viagra. It won't be working, so they'll pop more. And the thing is, now you're getting overheated. Right. Now it fucks your shit up. And you got lights and shit. Yeah, and you're uncomfortable now, and you're sweating, and it's just getting worse and worse. Your dick's never gonna get hard. And it's harder to it's harder to pop on Viagra. Uh, for not necessarily. Mild ass. I mean, okay, fair enough. I guess I guess it depends. Yeah. Well, I, I also ruined my dick with uh, major. Ketamine abuse. Fun. So yeah, yeah, it was fun. It was fun while it lasted. <laughs> Not so fun anymore. Now yeah, now they're like, why can't you come? And I'm oh, like, shit. well, the crystallized in my urethra and ripped it apart. Damn. So, yeah. It's brutal. If you anybody with premature ejaculation problems, just do a gram of ketamine <laughs> a day for about two years, and you will be fine. Yeah, that's right. Endorsing you, drugs here. You will fuck for hours. <laughs> Oh, Who's got man. the butt? Like, what's your favorite shit to do with these old ass chicks? Um, I love to eat pussy. That's yeah. like always my favorite thing to do. Yeah. Do, does their pussy taste like mothballs? <laughs> no, <laughs> fuck no. No, it tastes like pussy. Unless, unless, uh, you know, uh, and and this is like a huge pet peeve of mine. If if a girl douches literally like five minutes before the sex, then it just tastes like fucking you know vinegary Vin- water. Yeah, it's like it's like I know, right? That's what I'm saying. It's like I want to taste pussy. I don't want to taste vinegar. Yeah, like, and yeah. it's like douches, douching is bad. Like we've already the the, the science is out. It's, yeah. Like douching robs the vagina of its natural juices. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, exactly. So I mean, like I, I was, you know, if if I can stop that before it happens, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> are they getting um? Are they do they get wetter the older women? Uh, generally, yeah, actually, uh, it's it's usually the the younger ones who are a little dry, but that's just because they're nervous, you know. Right. You, you you get like I mean, eighteen, nineteen, twenty year old, they're like you know. Yeah, they're nervous on camera. Nervous, yeah, 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 exactly. They're like kids almost. It's right. like, so um, no, I, I definitely, working with the, the MILFs who, who know what they're doing and are comfortable with their bodies and not, you know. What do you do with kids to help them feel? Like, <laughs> you give kids. them a star on their forehead <laughs> and a fucking lollipop when oh, they're God. done? No, like, no. Hey, good job. <laughs> oh, geez. Here's a balloon. A lot of positive reinforcement with the, with the newer ones. Like, yes, you did okay. No, you don't have to freak out right now, you know. Yeah. Damn, son. Yep. What about anal? You're doing anal with these chicks? Um, or? Yeah, I actually did uh, all anal scene just like I think two weeks ago with Paige Owens. Who's uh... let's look. Let's oh look yeah, up the I old... mean look at Paige Owens definitely. She's phenomenal, great performer. But yeah, I was uh, I was a Mormon. Uh, what? I was I was playing a Mormon because see I I'm like. Oh, uh, I yeah, thought yeah. you were grew up as a no, Mormon. No, fuck no. <laughs> no. Fuck uh, those Mormons. Yeah, fuck those Mormons. Heard they run the CIA. Right. Hey, there you by go. The way. Oh shit. Yeah. Uh-oh. Well, actually, don't fuck uh, them. They're yeah, cool, don't fuck right? them. They're great. Yeah. Love Mormons. <laughs> but no, so I I was uh, playing like a, a nerdy Mormon, and uh, um, she comes in and and seduces me and uh, uh, says, you know, oh, it's if it's anal, it's totally fine. You're not losing your virginity. So it's like, okay, cool. So I. Yeah, fucked they, her in the ass. <laughs> yeah, I think they they do that in many Arab countries. Oh in yeah, many Muslim countries. <laughs> They're like, ah, oh, let's keep that hymen intact. There you go. 
Oh, that, let's, is that you? All right, let's turn it up. That's you? Oh, no, that's not me. Oh, well, fucking. No, that was Paige Owens. Sorry. No, no, I, I mean, we're looking at, like, Paige Owens. All right, let's, that's not let's, me. Take a, let's take a gander at Alex yeah. and uh, see what he's doing. Just living my fantasy here, teacher. <laughs> Alex is eating the oh, pussy. Oh, yeah, that's, that's Jasmine J. Yeah, she's fucking smoking oh. hot. That was for Naughty America. Do most of these... Ch- oh. So you're fucking a lot of chicks that have been in the business for a long time. Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah, she's been in for a while. So do most of these chicks... The, one of the things that kind of bums me about bums me out about MILF porn is I don't like fake tits. And Oh, yeah, yeah. So you, what's the percentage of fake titties that you're getting? Uh, With MILFs? Yeah. I like... Oh God! I mean, ninety nine percent. No I mean, shit. I, I can't even think of a milf who hasn't Doesn't. had fake tits. Because yeah, like mean, they came out in the nineties, that's, that's what everybody right. wanted, exactly, and now they got exactly. fucking fake tits. Yeah, for sure. And you know, also like when you start getting older, tits sag and stuff. So you're gonna like you get even them. even the ones that look natural, they're generally right, right. just really well done and not overfilled. So that's hey, that is that is the key. Yep. Um, why is why do you think? Actually, Jason actually has this question. Go ahead, Jason. You've been waiting. I'll let you ask it. Yeah. Yeah. The question is uh, why the big pop off in all this like incestual porn lately? Fucking your stepmom, fucking your stepsister, your stepbrother. Like, why all of a sudden? Well, I think so. I think two reasons for that. Um, The first being it's easy. You don't need any extra props. You just need a guy and a girl. And it's like, oh, okay, we're going to make this into an interesting scene by saying, oh, they're related. You know, and then but they're not really related. They're not really you're, related. You're, legally, yeah. you're not allowed to do that. Correct? Yeah, what what we do is we we call it the uh, establishing uh, dialogue, which is like in the very beginning, like, oh yeah, when your father met my mother, you know, uh, it was I always thought you were hot or, or right, some right, shit right, like right. that, or oh yeah, you know, it's not weird because we are step siblings. And right, then right. after you get that establishing shot, then you could say brother, sister, it doesn't fucking matter. But um, and then the other thing is it's taboo cross culturally, so it's going to be like, um, you know, it's going to be kind of uh, uh, kinky for everyone. So I think I think that's if I had to guess why incest is so popular right now, that's it. I was uh, I made this complaint before, and I'll make it again. It's like I'm not into that, but. I think, like, man, if you're going to do it, just fucking fuck your mom. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> Right, exactly. Like, like if, I mean, if we're going to go there, like, fucking go there. We're, we're actors. Like, clearly right. we're not fucking related. Yes. Oh, by the way, that scene, that, that's a really good scene. That was a this, really popular one. This one right here? Mom. Yeah. Was, it's called Hooky for Some Nookie. Yep, yep, Team Skeet. I actually direct for them now. I actually watched this a couple weeks ago. Did you jerk <laughs> off to it? I did. You've wait, you've jerked off. Yo, you've jerked off to Sorry, Alex. I did. <laughs> you've caught a nut to Alex. Is that weird for you, oh, Alex? Shit. I don't know. I've never had someone like say that to me because, like, in in porn, like we don't really talk about watching each other's porn. We just kind of fuck each other. So right. Yo, I got in a lot of trouble with the fucking maniac chick, Mia Khalifa. Oh yeah, I haven't met her. No. Yeah, because she wrote. Yeah. She was reading my book, so I was like, ah, oh, fucking, I'll I'll return the favor and watch one of your. I never watched her porns because I like audition porns. Yeah. Um, I was like, oh, I watched one of your porns, and she just started screaming at me and fucking. Really? Yeah. Was this like on social media or something like that, or? I was like, I DM'd her. This oh, shit. I see. I'm like, hey. Oh yeah, like yeah. I mean, there there are people who are really touchy like, about she's that. She's like, shit. that's like, that's awkward, right? Like, well, how yeah. about you don't suck dick on camera, and right. then um, uh, I won't be fucking like. It's well, like yeah. someone saying, hey, I listen to your show. Oh, that's right. awkward. Yeah, like, right. <laughs> exactly. I know. That's your fucking job. Who is this hot fucking hot Oh, that's, that's uh, Katie Kush. Yeah, that's me. God. Oh, what I, the that's fuck me looking was like that? A I have a question. What Wh- is that? Hold on. You just- so I, I, I don't want to get super specific on this, but uh, sometimes uh, in scenes we do- uh, uh, you know, different things. So this this was a... a, a can a, I stop you? Pre- <laughs> John, if you're going to be running porn, can you please have the shit, uh, the music going on in the background so that people know that... Thank you for fucking sakes, go. dog. Right. So, Sorry, John's the king of running porn with the fucking sound down. Yeah, it's so, yeah, way better. In this scene, uh, the the setup was that uh, I'm a nervous virgin. She fucks me, and then I I bust super early. Yeah, yeah. And then she's like, "Oh, now that you busted, now we can actually fuck." You know. Oh, and so, then, so the, yeah, yeah. The first one was like right. a fucking fakey, and then the second one was like a really pretty something like that. Yeah. Uh, you don't have to say. Right, right, right. Like, cause oh uh, yeah, there it is. She's fucking. Dripping. I mean, anybody like you really, 
got to suspend belief because you just came buckets. And hurt. <laughs> what, I don't come a shit ton? I mean, <laughs> usually you got to, come on, let's be real. You got to work up to like a fucking, the longer you fuck, the more you fucking, oh, yeah. you, if, you're, if, you're, if, if you came as much as that, you, you hadn't busted in fucking like six years. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> And then you put it back in, and then she fucking keeps going. Oh, yeah, man. For, for 55 minutes, yeah. Does it ever become just a job for you? Uh, it kind of, It's always just a job. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, it's like, it's fun, um, but off-camera sex is, is way more enjoyable. What, uh, what is it like for you in your dating life? Uh, I don't date just because I, I don't have time for that stuff. I'm I'm way too busy shooting. I sh- I shoot all the fucking time. So so, so you do off camera sex with girls that you work with? Uh yeah, occasionally. Okay. Like we'll hook up off camera, or uh, we call it shooting content, um, which is another kind of it's kind of on kind of off ca- camera. It's like we we fuck like normal, right? But then we just film it and then we sell that content. Huh. So fucking smart. Eight 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 seven four two three three four five. Uh, Buck in Maryland. Yo, hey, so, uh, so, uh, my, my girlfriend or my ex, uh, we recently just broke up and, uh, her mom wants to fuck me. And so I'm trying to figure out what the best, you were talking about POV, right? Trying to figure out what the best, trying to figure out what the best POV angle to film it and send it to her is. Oh shit. Like, uh, okay. Well, if you do a side 45. What so, is side forty five? So you mean? like? I mean, I can't, it's I like can't shade describe it, but right. yeah, right. right you I'm, just take it off to the side at okay, forty five, so looking down. Basically, like, all right, picture, picture you're doing, um, you got your arm out and you're doing like, uh, you know, when you used to do the robot back in the day with the, when you when your arm is straight out and then your your hands pointing down. Oh, I see you. I see you. All right, so you you're holding the camera like that yep. sideways, looking down. Yeah, exactly. Looking down, so you're getting that side angle, yep. the dick going in and out of the exactly. mouth, yep. going in and out of the and, pussy. Yep, and because of forced perspective, it'll also make your dick look really big, because like that's the first thing in frame. So it's like it's it's. Well, she, she already it's, knew. She, my girl already knew my dick is big. I just I just <laughs> wanted to make sure that you know. Fair, mom, fair you enough. Know, yeah, you got a giant sure dick. Everybody that calls have the biggest dick. <laughs> All right, well, I appreciate it, fellas. Yeah, Yo, my pleasure. Hey, um, yeah, that's so. Do you think you're do, my, the next question is? Do you think that? Oh, he he hung up. I want to I want to know uh, if she's gonna let him film the shit, or is he gonna have to sneak the film? Oh, there you go. Well, I I would never advocate sneaking it. You got to get consent. Yeah, I agree with you. I'm just kinda, <laughs> I'm just I'm just speculating. Right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, I'm not like, hey, fucking film a fucking chick. Secretly film somebody. Yeah, fair enough. Isn't that illegal? Probably. <laughs> Depends on where you in are. In California, yeah, right? it's illegal. Yeah, it was in can. Maryland. Yeah. Check out local laws. Um, 888-742-3345. Um, let's, uh, Nigel in Alberta. Nigel. Hey, how's it going? Yeah. Um, yeah, I kind of got two things here. First. Us young cats, like, I'm 25 now, but before I graduated high school, I was thinking, like, how amazing life would be if I could just be a porn star. You know, I don't got to go to school or nothing. So you being in porn, how is it? Like, is it as great as us young cats would have thought it would be? I mean, uh, it's it's a lot of, um, it's super difficult, really stressful, I'd say, for a lot of male talent. Um my my general rule is you're you're two bad scenes away from being out of the industry. So if you can't get your dick hard and oh. and you fail two scenes, you're fucked because everyone's gonna find out. The girls are gonna talk. The directors are gonna tell each other. Um, and, and that's and money. That's that, money. That's money out of everyone's pocket. Because when you fail a scene, yeah. that's the location that still has to get paid. The hair uh, hair and makeup. Um, the production assistant, the actual director, the uh, the the female talent. That's money that's not going to anyone's pocket. Everyone's gonna be fucking pissed. So you're two scenes away. That's, that's gotta be that's gotta be fucking crazy, fucking stressful having to walk into that shit. I, right. Oh I yeah. Get stressed for sure. out fucking in a hotel because <laughs> right? I'm like I I spent two hundred dollars on this room. I better fucking show out. Oh and, for sure. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, and then and then you do the added pressure of uh, you know on your very first scene. That's when you're most nervous. That's when you're most likely to fail. 
So it's like, oh man, yeah, it's just it's super hard, um, and and it's it's way different than actual sex because um, you're you're really performing for the camera, and not performing for the pleasure. Yeah. So yeah, I've 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 been on like a porn set, and I can I can co-sign like some of the angles that they're doing. It's like. Oh yeah, Weird. it's like it's just to make the dick look bigger going in and yeah. out, but or even to see things. Yeah, like you you gotta always open up, you know, for the camera. So right. if you're if you're like fucking doggy, you're you're really doing a forty five degree angle with your body so people can see the pussy and ass. Let me know? ask you something, man. Um, does anybody like that back fucking shot where I gotta look at your asshole and, and your nutsack? Generally, and the, like, I mean, who likes that shit? Well, that's what I'm saying. Is like when I film that, when when I'm directing and I film that, I cut out the guy's ass. You know, I I just do from the bottom down. So like you you just see like maybe balls and dick, and then the girl going in and like out. yeah, no, like. If if a director knows what he's doing, he's not going to catch the guy's asshole because no one wants to fucking see that. You know, I, I, mean? I barely even want to see your balls and dick. Right. I like I like to see like let's be real, vaginas feel way better than they look. You know what I mean? On a girl's body, like the ass, fucking fat ass is awesome. Yeah. Hips are great. Fucking legs. You, when you're fucking them good and their fucking feet do the claw shit, oh, yeah, they're like, sure. oh, the claw. You're like, oh, yeah, you're fucking putting it on. I'm like, that's all the hot shit. Yeah. And like. Me having to look at a close up of your fucking dick going in a <laughs> pussy, man. I'm just like, fair enough. I'm, I'm like, <laughs> skip, skip that, skip, skip, skip. <laughs> oh, they're still doing it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I guess some people really like that angle. I guess they do. I just want to know. Eight 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 seven four two three three four five. Um, let's go to uh, ba 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 ba. Alex in Alex in Buffalo. So I wanted to ask Alex, have you ever fucked an actual set of twins? Uh, you know, I I was very close. Uh, if you Google the white twins, um, I knew it. I knew it. Yeah, I love them. I was yeah right. I, I knew was, it. I knew it. I love them. Right, <laughs> right on the cusp. It was it was gonna happen, and then some behind the scenes stuff. It didn't happen. I'm I'm still hoping that I get booked with them at at some point because uh, they've been shooting quite a bit. So the white twins, yeah. they're they're mixed. They're amazing. Yeah, so, yeah, no, they're good. How do how do they come out mixed? Are they really twins? They're they're actual twins. Yeah, yeah. oh, they're real twins. <laughs> Whoa, yo, <laughs> how the fuck did that happen? Well, they, so they don't they fuck each other. Cool. Yeah, they, I know, but like, I'm just saying, like, how do one come out white and the other no, chick no, come no. out looking mixed? No, 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 that's not them. That's them. Up oh, here. Up here. oh, yeah, that's them. I'm looking at this other fucking hot. Twins that are uh, one's one's a redhead and the other chick is mixed. All right, okay, that threw me off. I was like, yeah, I think someone's lying. Oh, for sure. Yeah, no, they they are actually twins. Yeah, I've 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 met them. They're they're pretty cool. Oh man, we got to get them on, dude. Are they in L.A.? Uh, I don't know where they're at now, man. but yeah, yeah, they shoot in L.A. So fuck, we need. What about actual mother daughter? Uh, never done that. I mean, I I don't even know who. Is actual mother daughter in porn? I saw one grimy scene, like where they're do, like where they're like doing them till they fucking puke. Oh and yeah, it seemed yeah, like yeah. they're like mother daughter. They're they're at least lied and said. Uh, yeah, it's daughter. it's yeah. I've I've never actually. I mean, I don't know anyone who's actively mother daughter shooting porn right now. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, I, I'd say that's probably more rare than twins. What's the fucking like? Has there ever been some shit where you're just doing it and you're like, whoa, like this is pretty fucking, like I don't, I like, were you questioning your life? Uh, never questioning my life. Yes. I mean, because <laughs> like uh, there, there are things I'll, I'll do, like I, personally in, in my personal life, I don't really like anal. Uh, it, it, you know, what you see on camera is not. Uh, how the entire scene went, you know, any anything gross is always cut out, and it, right, it's right. just, it's it's never as uh, as clean as as it looks in the final product. Well, I so. always say, man, like whenever you <laughs> fuck a chick, you know, you got in the butt, you got a fifty fifty chance of getting some shit on your. Oh, dick. no doubt, and even with cleaning out and stuff like yeah. that. I mean, you're always getting like fucking um, ass jelly. Yeah, and it's like 
Yeah, I mean, and so props to the girls who, yeah. Well, no, because wait for this. Props truffle to the butter. girls. Yeah, truffle butter. Exactly. <laughs> props to the girls who you pull it out and they go right for the dick and suck it all off. Because, Whoa. Yeah, ass to mouth. That's exactly what's happening. Uh, yeah, it's. Uh, wow. It's something. <laughs> I would give him a wet wipe just out of GP. <laughs> like, yo, dude, like, I'm gonna have, I might have to kiss you later. So, like, <laughs> for my own good, right? Here's a towel, but like, whatever. Yeah, ask the mouse, ATM. Yep. Here, let's give me, get, let me, uh, let me, let me see, uh, let's, let's see Alex Jet fuck before, before, uh, before we bail. Let's see, let's see him do his thing on an older. I want an older lady. Supposed to be proving to me. How much you want me to not fail you? Yeah. Oh, she's the British, right? Oh, yep, yeah. yep. It's like fucking yeah. the BBC, dude. Oh, fuck that pussy. <laughs> fuck that pussy. Come on. Come mm. on. Come on. Oh. Fucking oh. wanker. Oh, yeah. Mm. You don't want to lose that trust one now, do you? No. Here, switch mm. up positions. Switch up positions. Yeah, there you go. Let's see, let's see him hit a doggy style or some shit. Oh, there you go. You got her on the fucking... Is she like a teacher? Oh, yeah. There you go, Alex. Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah you're giving it to her. Mm. Look at you. Oh, yeah. Come on, fuck me. Fuck your teacher. There you go. Oh, yeah, look at that young fucking dick in me. Yeah. Yeah, she's fine. Mm, yeah. That young fucking mm, dick in me. Fuck. Let me see. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Mm, come on, I didn't tell you to stop today. Uh -uh. Damn, she's talking hella oh, shit. Right? Oh, yeah. Do you like that or? I, I don't mind it. I, yeah. I kind of like it. It's kind of yeah. fun. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, yeah. You came to that, John? This is the one that you busted to? Uh... I will later, but no. <laughs> the uh, no, it was Wait, the what one. Was the, what the was one the one? With one, Katie Cush. Cush. Oh, yeah. that was the one this that one. that that was the one where that, he came that's again. A, that's yeah. a really good scene. Yeah. Yeah, I I can I can vouch for him on that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I came across it, but I was like, okay. Here, uh, Alex, look at look at John. John, look at look at look. John, look at Alex. Now, now tell him that you came to it. What? Look at look at him. Look at him look dead in his face. I'm not face. playing along look, with this. Look at him dead in his face. I came uh, <laughs> when you were doing this. I was on my couch at home. Fun. Thank you for that. I, I may have done it a couple times. So. All right, I'll have to shake your hand. Yeah. Right. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> this is not gay. Not gay. Nah, man. You just appreciate his work, bro. That's all. Look, man, I got there. There's male porn talent that I fucking that like. If I see them, I like the way they fuck. You oh, know what I mean? Sure. Like I'm like, yo, that, my man puts it down. Like, like, cause you want to see a good sex scene. So for a dude to for a dude to be a fan of a fucking another porn star isn't like it's not gay dude it's just like all right this motherfucker knows how to fuck well, it's like it's like football right like you yeah. can, you can be a fan of a football player you know yeah it's like, like same thing yeah i want to see somebody put that shit down on the fuck like if i know like people like mandingo because they they know that mandingo oh yeah he's yeah he's, he's got a bat right and he's fun to put that shit the fuck down no doubt same with Shawn michaels and uh yeah. lex uh, Lex Lu was it Lex Luger? Lex Lexington Steel. Saying like these are all cats that are like right. yo, you just knew when they get in the pussy they yep. need to put that shit down. So John, the fact that you're a fan of Alex <laughs> doesn't make you gay, man. It just no, makes you a fan of Alex, man. Yeah, yeah. I was at the desk the other day. Keenan showed me his picture. He said, "Wait, I know that guy." I know <laughs> that's that so guy. funny. That's awesome. I I actually love that because I, I do this for like the attention. Like that's what originally got me into it. So like. Yeah, that's that's uh, pretty interesting. <laughs> Do you take any supplements for bigger loads? They want to know. Uh no, no, not at all. It's just it's naturally like I I don't know how I'm able to come as much as I I I do and and do like three scenes in a day. I I have no fucking idea. But uh, it's probably because you're young, man. You get your maybe. you got a quick metabolism. I'm guessing. Yep, definitely. I'm like I I'm good for one nut, dude. Right. But I'll fuck you for a mad long time. See, but yeah, like, yeah, once yeah, I exactly. get that nut, like. Psh, yep. Peace. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm like, let's go get some pizza. Like, I'm fucking, <laughs> I'm nutted out. Fucking nut. I'm all out of nut. Uh, Red in Tennessee, he's got a question. Go ahead, Red. Hey, how you doing, y'all? So, Amazon position. 
I like fucking my girl Amazon position. I want to know your your What's, insight on that. Is I don't even. Amazon I don't position. know. I'm not sure about Amazon position. Is that where like uh, she's picking you up upside down and you're like eating her pussy and she's sucking your dick? I mean. No, no. It's like you you lay on your back. Okay. You know, I lay on my back and I bring my knees to my chest and she pulls my cock. You know, towards her, and she oh. straddles me, and then she like grabs my legs and yeah. just fucks the shit out of me. So I you see. Because of men, you know, we fuck our girl doggy style. We we put in work, but there's times where I just lay on my back and I say, "Come fuck me," and she and it feels <laughs> fabulous. I mean, fair enough. You like, know? I it, is it hitting a different part of the pussy? I'm just curious. I don't. Yeah, I don't I don't think so. I mean, oh, honestly, I, I, I've I've seen I've seen this more and more in porn. Uh, this one position, um, and I've never done it. But yeah, I mean, you're uh, the. It the looks colors. kind of like where you're the female in it. Yeah. Well, I mean, but that's yeah. the thing. It's like yeah. uh, you know, it, it's a, it's a lot of work to fuck. Uh, I mean, missionary. We call it Mish. It's a lot of work to fuck Mish for super long. You have a girl do that. It's like, oh, she she understands what it's like now. You know. Oh yeah, yeah. straight the fuck. Up. I I know. Like now that I'm older, man, fuck, dude. They want me to pound it out missionary, and I'm like, I'm going to fucking die. Like, I need, I, I, like, I started running up the steps here because I'm just fucking, wait, that's it. Yo, yo, she's got his legs stacked. And, yo, she's got his legs stacked, and she's just fucking going in on him. I don't know about this. Do you feel weird? Oh, he's holding, wait, he's holding. Yo, hold on a second. Yo, yo, Red, have you ever held your ankles? Like, this guy's holding his ankles. I'm not that flexible, but, you know, she gets it. And I, I enjoy it. It's a good position. Just watching her ride my cock like that, it's like that POV position almost. <laughs> it's enjoyable. Yo, I'm not going to lie. She's going in on the dick. Like, she is going in, but, man. <laughs> fuck, dude. <laughs> hey, this is your favorite favorite position, right? You get to see the guy's brown eye. That's what you wanted? Yeah, it's exactly. this is exactly what I wanted. <laughs> you were saying earlier? Yeah, you love that? I'm focusing on her asshole. Oh, yeah, uh-huh. Sure. Yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> Man, she's on that shit. She's really riding the fuck out of his dick. Why? Do, oh, you know why they call it the Amazon position? Because, because the Amazonian women were like big, tough. No. Oh. Because I was like, oh, did they do this in the Amazon forest? No, it's the fucking Amazonian women were like the tough, in charge ladies, and she is literally stacking this dude's legs. Now she's holding his legs up and <laughs> slamming. <laughs> Yo. Wait, you guys got to fuck, just everybody just Google Amazon position right fucking, right during the music break. This shit is the most fucking banana shit. I, Alex, Alex Jet, are you going to, are you going to try the Amazon position? Um, I think, uh, probably on, not man. anytime soon. I, I don't, I don't know if everyone's ready to see that much of my asshole. I don't know, bro. Like this, it seems like it seems like it could be the mom fucking the kid. There you and, go. And like her taking charge. Right, right. And like that would be. It's not the craziest thing. She got a nice little ass too. This one. God damn. She's on that shit. If I just don't focus on his legs up in the air, it's not bad. <laughs> yo, why is he wearing Skechers too? Like he's getting, yo, the dude getting fucked is like he's getting fucked in Skechers, yeah. man. Like, yeah, generally we let the girls keep their shoes on for the scene. The guys take it off, so that's uh, an interesting juxtaposition. Unless you're a black guy, then they fucking Tims and shit in a gold chain. Well, <laughs> right. Well, I mean the thing is you got to tape it all up too, so um, you can't have any fucking logos in porn either. Oh, word. All right, yeah, and oh, now she's sucking his dick, man. This chick's a champ, dude. Girl, fucking guy. That was it. All right, Amazon position. That, that hey, thank you, uh, Red in Tennessee. I I just learned something that I don't know if I needed to know, but you're happy you know it. Yeah, it's one of those deals. Every time I come on this show, I never know what the fuck I'm gonna learn. You have a website. Where can people go to? Where can people go to watch your work? Yeah, it's alexjet.com, and that's jet with two T's. Or um, they can follow me on Twitter, and that's alexjetxxx. So. Okay. Do you got a? Uh, do you do webcamming? Where you uh, fucking? Where you fucking chicks on webcam? Or no, is that, is I mean it? the the thing is, I'd rather like film a scene because then I can sell that you know forever as opposed to like a quick webcam show where you make a little bit of money and then that's it. You know. Okay, so. cool. Alex Jet with two T's. Tell them one more time, so just just so they get it. Yeah, yeah. Follow me on Twitter at Alex uh, Jet XXX. Okay. And then uh, my website's alexjet.com. So. 
All right, we got uh, news and then the pill mix. Don't go anywhere, y'all. It is the All Out Show. You're listening to the All Out Show with you. And now, it's time for News from the Chin with John Z. Matthews. All right, so I've got some pickup lines here that apparently work well on men. You know, you know a good one is? What's that? Hi. Yeah, that generally gets me going. Hello. Like if a chick just talks to me, like I can take it from there. By the way, that's that's on the list here. They're calling, Is it? They're calling that an innocuous pickup line. It's like, hey, what's up? Hi. Hey, how you doing? Also in that category, can you recommend a good drink? Ah, there you go. That's a good one. I've seen you before. Do you work here? I get it. See, you work at the bar, I guess. I don't know. Um, oh, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> and this like, one's scared. Starbucks or some shit. Like, I seen you before. You work here. You're a barista. <laughs> like forty seven. Like no. This one's terrible. When did you get that tattoo? Did it hurt? That works on guys with tattoos. You don't have a tattoo. No. I don't have a tattoo either. But people with tattoos love talking about their tattoos. I guess they do. And I think you got to call it, like, someone's going to call in, but we're not taking calls. I think it's like, when did you get that work done? Or, uh, I've got some ink there. Like, if you, there's like a cool name called Tattoos. Ink? I don't know. Yeah. God damn, this fucking mic, dude. That's those ladies. They keep Boo. fucking with shit. And I know why. Except why? Because they're... I, Say it. Well, because they they like to see their names on the mics. So now they're taking the mics off and putting their names on the microphones. Is that why every yes. time I come in, it's fucking... It's been a bit of a thing. Why don't they just leave their fucking names on the mics? I'm Is happy. You, you want that? I don't give a fuck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't care, dude. I don't give a fuck. Tell them to leave it on there and stop fucking with the goddamn mics. That's annoying. It bothers me. I don't need. I don't need. Okay. It's not a big deal to me. If somebody else in here is fucking, you know, uh, why is their names on the fucking mics? Like that, they they can take it up with. I don't care. I just want the mic to be able. To, I just want to be able to talk into the fucking mic. I agree. I care about having a good radio show. I don't care about the fucking the flag on the goddamn mic. Maybe that's why. My career hasn't taken <laughs> off. As the fucking mic drops. Uh, the litter of the fucking, every time, skirt. They're, they're limp dick. There are phone calls. Managers were involved with this whole thing. It's really? A, it's a scene. Yeah, it's very what? unpleasant. Hot like. <laughs> I don't know. She and I get along fine, but Jesus Christ, what a fucking pain in the ass about everything. Uh, no comment. <laughs> and I don't want to, like... Out of all the shows here, there's two that are really big. Mine's one of them. I'm familiar with that. I'm very, I'm pretty low. I'm pretty, I don't really bring that up unless I'm like, hey, man, what the fuck? I know. Sometimes I got to tell them like, yo, dude, I know, bro. Like, it's not, it's not a secret. I know that my show is better than these other shows, why are you treating me like this? Sometimes I got to do that. Well, things things escalated. They're dying down now, but they may ramp up again. We'll see. I didn't realize all that shit was happening. That I didn't I didn't know that that's why the fucking mics were fucking dying on me. I was, and I became a bit of a snitch as well. But let's just leave it at that. <laughs> oh, John told. Imagine that. Why don't you just talk to me, man? All right. Hey, talk to me and we'll figure it out. Okay. It's my fucking mic. You didn't like it. It was a power play. You didn't like you didn't like it, John. It was it was your ego. I usually avoid death battles, but if you want to go to war, I'm someone you don't want to go to war with. I will Yeah, but it was your ego. It wasn't even that big of a fucking deal. Just leave the fucking flags on. They, that's what they call the little square things when you're watching like a video and they got the square. On like Channel Four News, it's called a flag. Just leave the fucking flag on. I don't give All a right. fuck. Okay. I don't care. Okay. Whatever. Noted. 
Just, I just want to be able to talk into the fucking mic. All right, I'm glad that we straightened that out. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> You were here yesterday. All right. All right. So hey, wait. There was a fight no, no, yesterday. No, 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 no. no. It's just, oh it's, man, no, 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 no. it's fine. What was a fight? I don't remember. Oh, you liar. I don't know. You fucking liar. Yeah, hey, I gotta live with these people. Hey, so you're not trying very hard. <laughs> All right. What else? Give me another fucking well, news story. Well, well, just quickly. So I don't want to hear it anymore. It's fucking over. Fine. It's done. You can't help yourself. You can't fucking help yourself. They're... We beat the fucking thing to death. Like it's too late. We get we got off track for fucking five minutes. You can't go back and fucking right. do it. It's done. Hey, be ca- lead with your strongest one next time. Be careful with hair dye and straighteners, especially if you're black. Black chicks, this is for you. We yeah. got a bunch of black chicks that listen. That all that processing shit, all those chemicals, that shit will fucking fuck you up, dude. Yeah, big time. I mean, I don't know if they're doing it now, but like back in the day, like they cats would use lie like to fucking straighten their hair. Whoa! Like, I, autobiography of Malcolm X was talking about that shit. Um, yeah. So, is do they have an alternative that, like, cause straightening your hair? I I don't know. I mean, chicks just, are still going to, like just. Well, they're saying seventy five percent of black women have straightened their hair, and if you're doing that with the straightener, uh, looks like you have a thirty percent more likely chance to develop breast cancer. And it's crazy with the dyes; it goes up by about forty five percent. Uh, That's crazy, for, bro. For black women. Yeah. All right, you heard it here first, black ladies. <laughs> Fucking natural. Rock that shit natural. Do, right. do I mean, they're, they're saying here a lot of black women straighten their hair, but... I, you I guess, haven't noticed? I guess they do. I never really thought about it. You think that their hair just grows that way? I, I really hadn't thought about it. Jesus <laughs> Christ, you're a fucking moron. It just never really occurred to me. Jesus Christ, what an idiot. I never occurred to me. Man, he's on a rap station, y'all. I just thought their hair grew straight. What's a hot comb? Looks like you have to do this all the time then, too. Keep it straight. We did that. We did the words with John with the kitchen. Do you remember what the kitchen was? Yeah, not really. Jesus the kitchen. Um, what's what's a kitchen? A kitchen could be somewhere where you uh, you. Take care of your your cosmetics. You go to the kitchen and you prepare your. I don't know. He works on a rap radio station, y'all. It's the back of your neck. What? Yeah, your shit's all fucked up. Oh. When your shit's all fucked up. Talking about your kitchen, you gotta get your shit right. Yeah. But really, you can get breast cancer. Now, Takashi69, he is going back to court soon. Uh, looks like he's going to be sentenced later this month. And the prosecutors are trying to cut him some slack, saying that he helped their case so much that if they follow the, the guidelines here, he could get out as early as the start of 2020. I thought. There be- you go, dude. There you go. I thought he was going to be in for much longer than that. But no. Pays to snitch. <laughs> he, not only did he snitch, he like... He went overboard. He said he was naming rappers that weren't even involved. I know there was rappers like at the crib, like, what the? F- Did he just say my name? Like, what the fuck I got to do with this shit? I'm not even Treyway. He was. <laughs> yeah, those fucking his fuck those snitch ones, dude. The the the, the snitch memes were killing me. He was like. I know where Waldo is. <laughs> Dora doesn't even have her papers. Like, he was going fucking, they were going in on his snitching ass. But it was funny, Um, Riley, Riley Perez came on, who who did the, who, I, forgot, I forgot the name of the book that he wrote, but he was talking about prison etiquette and just being in prison. And he was saying how, um, how them kidnapping him and doing and like doing all that fuck shit to him forced his hand to snitch. He was like, which I which I found interesting coming from like a dude like a prison guy. He was like, they really forced his hand. What's the name of Riley's book? What is real? Life and Crimes of Darnell Riley. Yeah. What is real? 
Um, yeah. Fucking, uh, yeah. What is fucking real? Uh, yeah, he was talking about, cause I didn't think about it like that, but he was like, yeah, man, they, they, when, when they started, uh, like kidnapping him and shit like that, like they kind of forced his hand to fucking tell. He flipped fast. Oh, uh, he flipped like a motherfucker. Looks flipped like, like flipped like a coin. A day after his arrest. Oh, he was. He probably that was they. He probably would have if they would have just walked in. They probably were like let's make him sweat for a fucking for like eight hours. He's probably in there fucking. If he if they would have just walked in twenty minutes with a cigarette and a coffee, he'd have been like it was Treyway, fucking Bob from Treyway, John, John Treyway. <laughs> Earl, Earl is the captain of the Bloods. Do you want to know about Crips? I know some of the Crips too. Uh. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah. See, you've you've talked about this before, but Martha you... Stewart, she she's got she was doing some other shit, some extra shit on the side. She never got caught for. Was that? So, but what happens to him though? Do you think he uh, disappears? I can't remember what you said about that. I don't know. It's one of those deals. It's like Sammy the Bull is still out there. You know what I mean? Man, he fucking told on Gotti. So I, he's gonna have to get a lot of fucking work done to fix his face. I don't know if that work exists. But once he gets his work done and he gets the fucking shit out of his mouth, he'll just look like fucking average Joe. If he gets a haircut with some bangs. <laughs> <laughs> if he gets an Andrew haircut, he'll fuck our fucking intern. If he gets like an Andrew haircut, some fucking Harry Potter glasses, he'll be fucking straight, dude. No one will even know it's him. But like, hey, it's Mexican Harry Potter. We're fine. He'll be all right. I don't. I don't, I don't think. I don't think they're gonna get him. That's my bet. I don't think they're going to get him. Well, I think I read recently he's planning on continuing to tour and stuff like that and make music if he can. Oh, then they might get him. <laughs> they might get him then. If he just, like, went and lived a low-key life and just got the fuck out, like, moved to fucking Wyoming or some shit like that and just stayed away from where, like, hoods were, he'd be... He'd be straight i don't i i think yeah yeah <laughs> i would be freaking the fuck out personally but yeah you'd be freaking out fuck yeah you fuck yeah me? you would be Jeez, are you kidding me well there you go telling telling pays off there there that's what we learned telling telling pays off that's why kids tell all the fucking time I've got some suggestions here how to avoid surge pricing in Uber and Lyft, according to some Redditors. Fucking sprinkle me, man. All right. So it looks as though if you see this this surge, um, just hop on a bus. Go uh, go like a stop or two away. Just just get out of the surge zone. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done that before. I've done that. Just I've walked three blocks and then recall it, and then you're like, oh, no surge. Yeah, I had no idea it was that, that nearby. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. Like, you can literally walk like... Like a concert will be going out, they're 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 charging crazy. Like I, I'll uh I go to the Hollywood Bowl. Hollywood Bowl is three blocks of, th 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 let's say a quarter mile from Hollywood Boulevard. You just walk down the hill, bang a left, walk walk a couple more blocks. It's like a half mile, and it's not bad because it's like people are out there. You're watching shit, and then you just fucking call your you call your car, and suddenly it's seven dollars. Wow, no idea. Yeah. Well, this is a good one, too. So let's say you're at the airport. I know you hit the airport. Then just hop on a free shuttle, go to a hotel parking lot, bang, you're out of there. Yep. That was, uh, yep. This is good advice. I never even thought of that shit. I was talking when I was, uh, when I was flying to Chicago to, from Burbank, I was talking to a lady. She was like, yeah, just hop on fucking shuttles. And call, call, like, everyone's happy that way, too. Because she's saying, like, even the Uber motherfuckers are getting fucked. Yeah. They're not stoked about the new situation either. Because they got to go, they they drop you off. They got to drive out. They can't even go back into the fucking thing. They got to drive out, drive all the way around, 
and then come back in. So they're like, yo, I'd rather you just fucking, I'd rather me drop you off and then get a call from a hotel somewhere, go pick you up at the hotel, and then drive drive you, get get a $40 ride or some shit. This is so obvious. Never occurred to me, though. Yeah. But if you want to test it, then go onto your app and then change your, your pickup location just to see if the surge drops. You can just sit there and then test. Like, okay, what if I go over there? Bang, bang, bang. Oh, so you don't even need to walk. No, just, just like test where you're going to go. Damn, that's smart. I didn't even yeah. think about that. That's why John is good at computers, y'all. And he'll hack you if you fucking... <laughs> John, keep fucking with John. John will hack your ass. I got nothing but time. A lot of hate. Not true. All right, so I do have here uh, the idea or the reason behind why your penis is a different color than the rest of your body. God, dog, do you know how long I've been wanting to know the answer to this shit? Really? Fuck yeah, dude. Like, I'm just like regular white and my penis is pink as fuck. I'm like, how the fuck? How? How? Like, how does it look like this shit? Looks like the Pink Panther. It looks like the fucking... <laughs> See, I would have figured it would be darker, because that's what they're saying here, the testosterone and then estrogen, that these things manage, these hormones manage the level of uh, the, the coloring in that area. So. It's like a dark pink, though. It's like, uh, okay. it's like a sunset in, when, there's, when there's the fires in California. Oh. So my dick looks like one of those fire sunsets, the sm smoggy sunset in California. I can't even really imagine that. A pink penis. I don't think you should. All right, that's right. I don't think you should try to imagine my penis. It's like a dog or something. And if you do, right. yell no homo. <laughs> it's not like Red Rocket. <laughs> Fucking Red Rocket, Red Rocket. Not like that. But it is, I'm like, I always wondered that shit too. So it's testosterone. Yeah, it's hormones. That fucking is getting pumped in your shit and just fucking boom. Yep. Changes the color of your nipples, the whole... Whole shebang. Well, then the the next question is: Does Chris is darker than me? Does he have more testosterone in him than me? Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> it's just just your dick. Yeah, exactly. Not your whole fucking body. No, but he's he's a pretty masculine guy. You've been hit. By him. <laughs> I can't even crack the joke without laughing. You've been hit by him, so you yeah, would know. I'm very familiar. <laughs> Yeah. Boom. <laughs> they never should have let it happen. But it did. It did. Oh, yeah. All right. What else? All right. So I've got uh, a reason here why men typically say they want nothing for Christmas. You seem to fall into that category. Uh, yeah, because I everything because I buy all my own shit. Well, that's the reason. I don't need I don't need anybody to buy me things. That's one of the main reasons. I'm a fucking man. <laughs> don't you like that though? Getting a gift, someone tries to do something nice for you. Isn't that nice? Come on. No, all I'm right. just like, dude, save your fucking money. I got this shit. I don't need a fucking thing. I'm good. Back in the day when I used to like fuck girls for things, it was different. But. <clears throat> Being someone that used to fuck girls for things and being someone that works for a living, it is, m listen to me, fellas, that fuck, fuck girls for things, it's so much easier just getting a job. Yeah. Yo, it is so much easier just getting a job. Like, John fucks girls for things. Uh, that's not true. Your last girl, you fucking, you totally finessed her ass. <laughs> and uh, it was a fucking, he it was a headache for you. You end up, you end up, it was a net loss. That was a challenging time. Yeah. It was a net loss. And uh, it just doesn't pay off. So all you fucking gigolos out there, just get a fucking job. It's way easier. But in my defense, she said, hey, why don't we live together? And I said, gosh, we barely know each other. And that didn't go so well. Ah, oh, but sure, I'll do it. I'm a lesbian. <laughs> no, I. I'll move right on in. I didn't have a lot of money at the time. Exactly. Okay. He used to fuck girls for things. <laughs> Did you? Yeah, it just, I just told you, and it was, it's easier just to have your own shit. So fellas don't need shit. And then the other thing is, is like, so, not all women, but some people, they don't, they don't get, some people are better gift givers than others. I'm a very good gift giver because I imagine what the other person wants. 
Right. My sister, who I love, is a very bad gift giver. She just gets you shit that she thinks is cool. And I'm like, get that for your fucking self. I don't think it's fucking cool. She's like, oh, I think it's cool. You should you should have that. I'm like, no, nah, I'm not into that. I'm into this. So a lot of times, like, people will get you gifts where you're just like, I remember I used to get mad, like, on my ex. I'd be like, you really thought I liked this shit? Like, really? You would get mad at her. See, I know. That's I was, wrong, man. I, was, I had issues, man. I was, like, fucked up. I had, I had a fucked up childhood and never got, I never got presents and shit like that. So, like, when I got, when I would get, like, a present, I'd be like, really? Damn. Yo, we were, that like. That my feelings to hear. I know. I felt, I'd look. Son, I'm sorry. Right. Like I'm, I'm sorry, Son. I'm sorry. You were like a good girlfriend, and I was not a fucking. I was an awful boyfriend to you. I was down for it, but I was also a dick. So there you go. My fucking the the Angelini family was so out cold. Like let's say literally, I remember that one time you're wearing a plaid shirt, and um, so when they got my my grandfather a plaid shirt, and he was like, "What the fuck am I gonna do with this?" It was Christmas. <laughs> it was fucking Christmas, dude. He said, what the fuck am I going to do with this? I got shirts. I don't need this fucking shirt. Damn. What am I going to do with this shirt? Dad, I thought you liked this shirt. Why don't you like this shirt? I'm not, I'm not going to wear this fucking shirt. I want fucking plaid. What the fuck? Fuck, I'm Irish? Like, this is, like this, they're going back. Uh, but, Come on, Pop, where the fuck is... It was, just, it was like fucking five minutes of them arguing over a goddamn shirt. It got to the point where they would just put... uh, They would just put fucking the receipt. And this was before, like, gift receipts. They would just put the receipt in the fucking box. And then the worst part was was they would get, like, boxes from fancy stores like we didn't have at, at the time, but, like, Marshall Fields. They would go to Kmart's and then buy shit from Kmart's and then put boxes, put put the shirts in the in a Marshall Fields box. We had Hudson's. They put it in a Hudson's box and then put it with the Kmart fucking with the Kmart receipt in that bitch. <laughs> why else don't fucking people like? Uh, why else don't men like gifts for themselves? Is it mostly just? Well, also because they're creatures of habit. So, for example, you like glasses. So buying glasses for you would be impossible because you've already gone out there and you've picked up everything you already want. So, Oh, yeah. Like, that's like you would have to really study Correct. my shit. Yes. Or if you were to get me a cologne, you would, you'd have to get me a bottle of cologne that I already own and know that I like. Right. You're a classic example of why guys are difficult to buy gifts for. Classic. Girl, lit, ladies. Just get them a lo- uh, get them a washing machine. What? They love that shit. Just get a woman a washing machine. Those are expensive. <laughs> Shows how much you love her. Okay. Or a new iron. Oh my god. Go big. Butter knives for sandwiches. <laughs> get a mag light. Those things are awesome. Get them like a. Ironing board, like a really nice one. An ironing board, uh huh. Chicks love that shit. Yeah. Fellas, listen to me on this one. A sandwich Guys, board for listen, the sandwiches. yeah, listen to me on this one, fellas. You want to make your you want to make your wife happy? A new vacuum. Yeah. That's gonna fucking that will bring her joy. <laughs> Sound like fun conversations. <laughs> I just, I just want to see fucking Christmas ruined. Please tape that shit once you do do it. Fucking like here, bam. All right, is uh, what's the good news? And now, time for good news. All right, I've got some best friends. They're seventy-eight. Damn, uh, seventy-eight year long friends, and this is over in the UK. And now they've moved into the same old age home, and they're oh, that's nice. Yeah. They've been, married, they've been friends for 78 years. Do you have any friends from back in the day that you still hang out with? Like high school? Anybody? Yeah, my homeboy that I'm going to the funeral, dude. Oh, right. Okay. But I meant like that you see on a regular basis. John, I moved away from home 20 years ago. Right. Oh, actually, my homeboy, no, my, shout out to my boy Ross, a.k.a. Sanaim Silla of Binary Star. We've known each other since we were, I want to say, 12. Whoa. Maybe thirteen. We both got chased out of Lake Orion together by a bunch of rednecks. 
Who knew? Who knew that that was going to form a fucking friendship f- for this long? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. They chased the shit out of me. And I was fat, so like they were, I, I, I was the one I was I was the one getting left behind and they they always make fun of me cuz I was I was like, "Get off me, man. Get off me, man." Like, "Ah, oh, get off me, man." So like they were like, "Ah, oh, your fat ass just kept young. Get off me, man." <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, it's cool that they got together. Yeah, yo, we re- honestly let them keep the fucking flags. You see, you see the shit. Yeah, I'm familiar with the whole thing. I'm- All right, so like, what's better, a flag on the fucking thing, or the or the microphone that keeps dropping and hitting me in my fucking face? I think we're gonna have to agree with you on that. Let's just go with flags, dude. Flags are fun. F- fl- yeah, that's the news. <laughs> 